Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In recent developments, the US Treasury has taken a significant step by assuming control over the Central Bank of Iraq to tackle the critical issues of money laundering and terrorist financing. This move underscores the US's determination to enforce stringent international financial regulations and protect the global financial system from illicit activities. According to three reliable sources, a dedicated team of American employees has been stationed permanently at the Central Bank of Iraq. This team operates under a rigorous mandate to ensure that Iraq adheres to international standards for combating money laundering and terrorist financing. The presence of these U.S. officials highlights the gravity of the situation and the lengths to which the U.S. is willing to go to enforce compliance. One of the sources revealed that the governor of the Central Bank of Iraq initially attempted to resist these stringent measures. However, the U.S.'s response was firm and unyielding. The Central Bank of Iraq was placed on a list of institutions suspected of supporting money laundering operations and failing to comply with international sanctions. This designation carries severe implications, not only tarnishing the reputation of the central bank, but also posing significant risks to Iraq's financial and economic stability. The inclusion of the Central Bank of Iraq in such a list can have far-reaching consequences. It can limit Iraq's ability to engage in international financial transactions, affect its access to global markets, and create a ripple effect throughout its economy. This move is a clear signal from the U.S that non-compliance with international financial norms will not be tolerated. To provide some context, money laundering involves the process of making large amounts of money generated by a criminal activity appear to have come from a legitimate source. Terrorist financing, on the other hand, involves the collection or provision of funds for terrorist activities. Both these activities pose serious threats to global security and economic stability. Countries worldwide have established stringent measures to detect, prevent, and combat these illicit activities. The involvement of Iraq in these practices not only undermines international efforts, but also poses a direct threat to global security. The U.S. Treasury's intervention is part of a broader strategy to safeguard the international financial system. By placing American employees within the Central Bank of Iraq, the U.S. aims to monitor transactions, enforce compliance, and ensure transparency. This move is not just about protecting the U.S.'s interests, but also about maintaining the integrity of the global financial system.